hey guys welcome back to my channel is your girl Kaylani and welcome back to another video for today's video I am very very excited because I am going to be doing a foundation try on review and if you know me I love me some complexion products and I feel like those videos do the best here on my channel so I am very very excited to show you guys today I'm gonna be doing the um, beauty creations uh, flawless day foundation I've been eyeing this foundation for a little while but I didn't know anything about beauty's creation because I've never tried the brand before but then I was buying some lashes and I figured this would be the best time to also try the foundation because I don't like paying for shipping girl <laughs> I don't like that so I wanted to just buy it in one package I'm very excited so if you guys want to see how the foundation works and how it matches my skin then just keep on watching <laughs> Okie dokie. So as you guys can see, my skin is very hydrated. Uh, I already have my brows done because I always do, honestly. And yeah, my skin is hydrated. I already have my skincare on, my SPF, my my, my moisturizer, my serums, everything is in my skin. So yeah, you see it, it glows. But obviously you guys see my skin is absolutely not perfect. I still have my little manchitas, my little dark spots, uh, you know, recovering from acne. So that's one of the things that I really look forward a foundation covering them up because that's what I want and yeah so I have a lot of hopes for this foundation I, I you know I did see a few uh, reviews and they're kind of like mixed feelings some people really like it some people don't like it I will say though that before um, when I was looking into buying this foundation it was kind of hard because a lot of the foundations look like they could work but then I also read that the foundation varies depending on the skin so yeah it was a little tricky to be quite honest to pick a foundation and I haven't even like played with it I haven't done anything so I really really hope that this foundation matches me uh, so yeah let's just let's get into it so I am going to try to just do my skin as I usually do it like every day type of thing not every day but you know what I mean like just the way that the products that I use and everything that I do just because I want to see how it works with my favorite products um, this was the milk um, cooling water stick by the way I love using this under my eyes it just leaves my under eyes super nice for the concealer so it doesn't like crack and all that good stuff um, I'm going to be using the milk I'm obsessed with milk honestly I'm gonna use the milk uh, hydro grip uh, primer this is literally one of my favorite primers ever I have not found one foundation that this primer like doesn't work with because you know sometimes primers do not work with a certain foundation but this one it just works with everything and I love it and like I've had it for a little while and look it's like pretty full and I use it like all the time I've also been using a brush to put my primer. I don't know why, but oh no, I just been bougie like that, I guess. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Elf Cosmetic Hello Glow Powder. This is in like the medium shade, which kind of like matches my skin tone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it and apply it on my skin. Jackie Aina does that um, all the time in all of her videos, and I just started trying it a little while ago and I really like how my foundation looked after and just like how it lasts longer so yeah it's just a little bit of powder after your primer and before foundation and it looks amazing all right so now to the queen of this show the beauty creation um, flawless day foundation it comes in this cute little pink box and it says flawless stay foundation right here beauty's creation um medium to full coverage i got the shade fs uh 4.5 um then we open it we have the bottle the bottle is so cute it has like a rose gold cap a little heart on the top which is like their symbol um the name i mean the shade at the bottom and she is how many ounces how many ounces is this foundation she is 1.0 ounces 30 ml so yeah i mean 
there's really not much to it. It's just really cute. I really like the the packaging. She kind of gives me a little bit of um, what's that brand called? Charlotte Tilbury. Is that how you say it? like Charlotte Tilbury vibe? I don't know if you guys see it, but a little bit. I think it's because of like the go um, pink goldish cap. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it kind of gives me the vibes, I don't know. Awesome about this foundation is that it comes with a pump. I love a foundation that comes with a pump. It just make it, makes it more sanitary and just like, I guess, easier to apply. Um, let me just say this foundation is $12. So if this foundation is bomb, I'm gonna be very excited because it's only $12. Very, super, super, extremely affordable. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand is a new foundation so of course it's gonna take a few pop oh maybe not okay so she looks like she can work maybe a little too light oh shit <laughs> yeah definitely not oh lord have mercy uh yeah no so she's too light for me that's not gonna work this is why i'm telling you it was so hard to pick a foundation i looked at so many like videos just to kind of like match it to my skin tone and it was so many mixed reviews i saw girls that kind of looked like me and there were four so i was like you know what i'm gonna go a little bit darker then i saw some other girl i forgot her name she's dominican as well and she was she's a little bit darker than me and she was using six and then I was like, no, that's too dark. But then five was a complete different like undertone than I am. So yeah, it was really hard. So all I'm gonna say is go darker. Like if you're buying this foundation, go darker because you can line it up with like a foundation lighter thingy uh, rather than go too light. Like yeah, this foundation ain't for me, girl. Like, ooh, I'm gonna be looking Casper White if I do this. This is definitely not the foundation shade that I use. But I'm gonna have to do something later. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh. What kind of witchcraft is this? What the hell is going on? You guys are seeing this, right? Like, like I ain't making this up. Like she's blending in my skin. Okay, so she did blend in, you guys, but my skin looks a hot mess like a hot mess it's like in my pores it's literally making my pores look bigger than they are it's not blending right like what is going on the color is not the problem now it's the actual foundation like girl what is going on i have a hair right here that is bothering me like my nose right here is like the foundation is not even like blending in. It's a mess. It's like sitting on top of my skin. It's not blending right. It's leaving like patches out that I'm not like able to, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, it's a mess. I've never looked at my skin like this. Like it's not, it's not bueno, it's not good. It's like even flaking. It's flaking, you guys. And then in some area, it's not even like, I can't even like blend it. I don't know how to explain it. Like I can't, it leaves patches of my skin, like without the foundation on top. It's just super freaking weird. Um, I mean, so far I do not like it. I'm going to continue with this video just for the sake of it. Um, I'm gonna do, you know, my regular concealer, bronzer, blush, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna try to make a look out of it because, honey, content. Uh, but girl, I have a combination skin and 
mostly on the oil side and oh I was expecting a little bit better but then again I'm not trying to bash it but it is a $12 foundation so I do have my hesitation sometimes when you know an affordable foundation um, when I try out an affordable foundation because when I do try it and I love it I am all about it I hype it up so much because you know not a lot of not a lot of us have the money to spend like $40, $50 on a foundation. So yeah, I get super excited when a affordable foundation works out, but when it doesn't, it's like, <laughs> why, why? My under eye though, crease wear. Crease wear. It makes me so, so sad when I don't like something and I have to like let you guys know because I really wish that like every product that I try would just work for me. Then that would be so much easier. But life doesn't work like that. And you know, my job here is to tell you guys when something doesn't work for me. Uh, that's what you guys are here for. And I'm not gonna lie um, for anybody because my loyalty is to you guys. So yeah, but it makes me so like sad, especially when like it's something that I really wanted to work. It just sucks, man, sucks. I wonder how it looks when I put like product on top. Mm, it looks the same. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little baking and do something super simple under my eyes. Nothing crazy. And I will be right back to I guess finish off my face and blush bronzer you know all that good stuff so that we can finish up and wrap up this video okay you guys and we are back um i think i did say that i was gonna throw a little something on my eyes and do something super simple under my eyes and we ended up here i'm not mad at it though I really like it but yeah um, I'm just gonna go ahead I pretty much did my eyes added some gloss obviously I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush this is from Cavan D I've been really obsessed with this blush this blush is real pigmented so go very slow at first but she's really beautiful she's really pretty and I really like it um, I was not a blush person per se before but I want to say for the last six months, I've been really into blush. Really like it. Sometimes go a little too ham. Because blush looks really, really good in pictures. And you guys, ooh, look at that. I want a little too ham. All you got to do is take a little brush with like powder and, you know, diffuse it a little bit. Like you see, it's not the same anymore. I'm going to use this Pure Cosmetics um, Highlighter. Um, you guys might be shocked because I used to use a lot of highlighter. I haven't been using like a ton lately. I don't know what's going on. I think I go in phases in life with products. But I add, what I do is I don't drag my highlighter all the way to the back anymore. I kind of just add a little bit like right here. Like on top of my cheeks. Like right here. Like, that's what I've been doing lately. And if you check, like, all of my older posts, like, I used to use, like, a lot of highlighter. But now I just put a little, a little, a little, a little something. Looking at it, obviously, on camera and looking at myself on the monitor, like, yeah, she looks good. Like, what are you complaining about? But, like, I know about foundations. Like, I have tried... A ton of foundations and from the get-go this one was just like when I first applied it obviously um, it didn't go as well as I thought obviously I had to tweak it a lot my concealer and my bronzer and my um, setting powder I feel like it, they helped a lot but would I wear this foundation on its own absolutely not this is not the foundation. I have foundations that I don't even have to put anything on my skin. Sometimes I wear it and just like, you know, like I have to go put the foundation, put the powder and leave. This is not the foundation you want to do that with. Like you would actually have to work it. Um, 
So would I like recommend it? I mean, if you really want to try it and I don't know, I don't want to say no, but I don't want to say yes. It's kind of like if you know how to work with foundations and you really want to try it, then get it. But if you're not like the makeup type all the time and you really want to get like a good foundation to work and just a foundation that you don't wear a lot of makeup and you just want something to cover your face or your acne or you just want to wear foundation, I wouldn't go with this one to be completely honest because I just don't think that it's nice on its own you have to really work on it and like you know apply other products to make it work for you the color can be a little bit deceiving as well as you guys saw like i put it on my face i just applied it and it looked like really light but then when i started blending it kind of blended out with my skin so that was a little bit confusing as well um i feel like my pores are kind of like they show a little bit more with this foundation. The foundation, I feel like it cracks. Like if you guys see really up close, I feel like it cracks on this area over here, around my mouth, the same I told you guys before. And I tried to really, really set it around this area um, just because I saw it from, you know, the first apply, from the first time that I applied it, that it like cracked on this area. So yeah. Um, I mean, I think the good thing that I can say is that she's affordable. She's $12 and she did match my skin uh, after it looked like really light. And you know what? <laughs> you know, I cannot do this. These lashes are from Beauty Creations though and I'm obsessed. The gloss is from Beauty Creations though and I'm obsessed. Like I really, 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 really want more of these glosses. They're only $5. They're super pigmented. They're kind of like a lipstick in gloss form really really love them um i only got two shades but absolutely love the glosses the lashes are super super nice they're super affordable as well i think they're like seven five eight dollars like they differ in prices but super affordable um the foundation um like i said i don't know it's up to you honestly like you know watch this review and take it as you want but personally if i'm like an everyday type of person i would not buy it if you are like a makeup artist and you know you are a makeup enthu enthusiast enthusiast you know what i mean a makeup lover and you know how to tweak things and make it work then yeah go ahead and you know try it out but yeah those are my thoughts those are my thoughts and opinion you know what i mean but okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell notification on so that you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. If you guys like my eye makeup look, make sure that you guys come and follow me on my Instagram. My name is Kilani K, same as here. Um, I did a little IGTV moment for you guys over there so you guys can come and check out everything that I used. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on my next next video. Bye guys.